Hello. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm very excited for this. This is um, something I've been very excited for. This, um, this is my Nox series. This is a, a solemn promise I am 100% going to finish this game. I say 100%. I don't mean I'm going to beat the game 100% because that's kind of absurd. There's basically three different playthroughs. But um, people who know this game will delight people who don't know this game. I am delighted to um, kind of show this game off because it's it's one of my favorites. Um, this is a game I, I semi grew up with. Uh, I didn't have like Diablo 1 or 2. I had this instead. And I really like this game. In some ways I like it. Uh, it's basically my favorite ARPG. Uh, I don't know, ARPG or CRPG, I'm never sure of the difference, but in any case. Uh, we're gonna watch the intro because we're gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take delight in the cheesiness of this. Hail Sabrium and trapped in the dark. Hail Sabrium adrift on thy bark. Dark lords banish thy reign is nigh. My time to bring the orb die. Over tonight, Jack. Chickens on the cricket. My undead lords within the core. Your name I hail. Enfold the orb. What the heck? Donande tak, donande tek. A room meant la sed. Damn. You know I do. You Stay know I do. Lousy second-rate candle makers. Kill them all when I rule the world. What sort of half-baked operation do they think I'm running here? Now where was I? Yeah. Oh yeah. I call upon the power of one dark name, one black heart, one grievous soul. I call upon the power of Grimor of Santissima! What the? At last, the power of the orb is mine, and with it the souls of the dead. Soon I shall rule triumphant over all of Nox! <laughs> Blazes! What manner of demon spawn dares attack my ship? Off you, mutant imp, or you'll have no head to put a hat on! Wait, please! I need your help! I don't know what's happened or where I am or... What is this place? No place at all, except the clouds. But off the noble Julian you go, under your power, or by the lift of my boot! Ah! Hold on, what's this? It's my TV. Hmm, and what does this TV do? Do? Uh, it doesn't really do anything. You just watch it. See, here's where you plug it in, and this knob changes the channels. I think it's broken. Intoxicating. The look of it promises a host of mysteries. You should see it when it's on. Give me the glass box, Imp, and I'll spare you your deadly plummeting fate. Why do you keep calling me Imp? My name is Jack. Granted, you've no wings, but you fly like an Imp. I can't fly. I fell. I fell here from my living room. Fell from what? No matter. It's either overboard with gravity as your guide, or I take the TV as fair for safe passage. <laughs> Deal? Can you take me home? Tina made bacon tonight. Bacon bound we go, Imp. But first, I need your help with something. Oh, I love that intro so much. That intro is so incredibly cheesy. Okay, I, I, I played a little bit on stream, but I'm going to start a new game. Uh, I am going to be doing a conjure. I'll talk a little bit about why when we get into the game. Um, Jack, sure. Beard, I don't know. Can we, we can have we can have a beard. Let's have a beard. <laughs> I I uh, sure yeah pants. Oh, not optional. Okay. Uh, mustache. All right, that looks all right. Sure. Character customation. When following your destiny's particular path, the way of the conjurer, 
a discreet and undetected arrival is more often the best policy, lad. Here, at the abandoned manor mines, you'll find a tunnel which takes you into the very heart of the village of Ix. Once there, you must find the master conjurer of Ix, Aldwin. I'll bring you no further, lad. Too many prying eyes the closer we get by air to the village of Ix. Follow the tunnel which leads to Ix. Find my old friend, Aldwin. He'll help you if he can. Take this staff. Forest beasts will heed its bite should they threaten. Careful as you go, lad. Goodbye. So, this is uh, this is Nox. Um, let me talk a little bit about why I'm playing this. Uh, there was recently a, an update to what is called Open Nox, which is uh, basically it's not quite a patch, but you dump it in the root folder of your Nox files, and then you can actually have like HD resolution and play it in full screen or windowed mode. It offers some like bare minimum quality of life features uh, that make the game playable. Oh my, oh the bear, no, bear, aw. That uh, make the game like, you know, playable on a modern day computer. Um, this game is one of my favorites and uh, when I played it as a kid, I would play the summoner because summoner at the time, at least for me, was such a novel concept. I didn't really, I hadn't really heard of that in many other games. And this was also my first ARPG. Uh, I see RPG, I guess. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to get that wrong a few times, aren't I? Um, this uh, seems to give us a glimpse of something else for a moment. Yeah, there's a there's something over there. I'm not sure what. We can jump, but I don't think that... Can we, can we break this? There's a lot of secrets in this game. A lot of secrets. Um... But yeah, I mean, like, what can I tell you about Nox? It, it was really novel at the time. And even like, you know, compared to Diablo, it's got some it's got some features that you are, you know, not necessarily expected. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that like Diablo 2 is probably a more robust game. But um, for as a fun experience, this one is like, I don't know, it's unique. It's a unique experience. We got, uh, I mean, we got dynamic lighting. We've got some uh, unique spells. I really like the summoner class because um, it's it was always super novel to me that you would you would fight these monsters, right? And then later you would gain the ability to take control of those monsters. And then later still, you would be given the ability to summon those creatures. And like, I wasn't, uh, you know, I hadn't played too much or any really. Uh, RTS game, so the concept of like controlling other units while you already were a unit wasn't really a thing that I had encountered too much before. This game like blew my mind in a lot of ways, and I mean it still kind of does. Um, just in you know like I think it holds up. Honestly, I think it still looks pretty good. Um, like the lighting still kind of blows my mind. I do. I was saying on stream the only thing is I wish that it would have like a grayed out version of what you're seeing so that your character kind of remembers where stuff is so you don't have to like constantly look where you know like it would it would help for like not getting lost is knowing where you were basically um but yeah you get a ridiculous number of spells um the summoner is really cool you get like a lot of creatures that you can summon it is it has an interesting kind of balancing uh like mechanic that Oh, we took some damage there. That makes it so you can't, like, summon too many creatures. I'm going to jump over that. I am going to try and collect as much as I can. There's probably some secrets I'm not going to get. I'm probably going to miss some stuff. You're welcome to let me know, but I don't think I'll be going back. So, and I'll probably be backlogging enough of this game, uh, like, in terms of, like, videos, that by the time you tell me something, it'll be far, far too late. So, it'll be, uh, this is a, a me version interpretation of playing this game so we can heal ourselves a little bit i love the little uh you know some of this is definitely just like weird quirks of the game that i really appreciate but i love the little uh sound you make when you're casting a spell um i played on this this might be a weird callback for some people um i played on this uh server on i think it was carrie's mod it was it was gary's mod and also other things like there was like maybe a Counter-Strike one as well called I think Jiggly's Funhouse or like 
I can't remember. There was there was a couple of them. This is gonna sound very out of left field, cause like, what the heck am I talking about? Um, it was basically just like a modded server that let you have like classes and stuff when you're like you know shooting people, you you leveled up and stuff, and they used this sound effect, the little. Uh, and I was like, even at the time, I was like, where is that from? I know that sound. It just harkens to a time, a, a better time, a different time. Um, and I miss it. I miss that. We don't need to have this book open. Forget how to close it. Okay, I mean, we can have it open. I don't mind, but. Eh. Stop worrying about it. Maybe. Oh, B. Yeah, that's that's pretty obvious, isn't it? So right now, this is just kind of this, the uh, tutorial area. There's three classes, as far as I understand it. There are like three very different campaigns. They play very differently. We need we need that mana. Um. So like, three different ways of playing the game. Very very different like classes. And I know, I know, like, listen, not, the pe people who uh, are, don't know this game are going to be uh, maybe approaching this. You got to, you got to really work with me here. You're going to meet me both ways here or halfway. Um, like, I understand there, we have a lot of games like Grim Dawn now and Di Diablo and, uh, you know, Diablo 3 and we have Titan Quest and we have, uh, Torchlight, and, and there's a lot of games that look like this, but I don't know. None of them have really come as close to me uh, f uh, for like a feeling or a, a sense of fun, of a sense of genuine adventure. Um, I love that there's like everyone's voice acted. I actually kind of really like the voice acting. I, th I thought it was genuinely good. And like, what's weird, I mean, like the intro kind of does the game dirty in a way because like it, it feels so cheesy. And then you get in the game, it's like, this is a genuine fantasy adventure. I don't know why I need to, needed to make it a, a weird isekai. <laughs> I was saying on stream that this is an isekai because the guy gets teleported out of his modern day adventure. A fine tavern is straight ahead. An excellent respite after so long a journey. Yeah. Ah, welcome to Ix, stranger. If you're here for the mayor's archery contest, go on in. Should I should I get a bow? This is my question. What is your goal? Do you remember? Aldwin is your goal. You cannot undertake your sacred conjurer studies without him. To find Aldwin in a village of conjurers might require getting to know the village better, so it knows you, so to speak, eh? It wouldn't hurt to get to know the mayor, since you need his permission to leave Ix when you're ready to go. But above all, keep your mind on the goal, lad. Aldwin, find Aldwin. I do appreciate that because despite the fact that they've told me three or four times, I will kind of forget as I'm busy looting these houses. Welcome. The shopkeeper here. here, aren't you? Your money is still good with me. Uh, first thing I'm going to buy is the cape because I think it looks pretty bad, eh? I think it, it looks pretty, pretty cool, honestly. Um, we could maybe buy a bow. The bow is like super expensive. But, uh, we could definitely buy a helmet. That would be not bad. Not a bad idea at all. Um, there's other things to, to buy, including a spell, a poison spell. Greetings, citizens of Ix. I come bearing gifts for the future subjects of my queen, Hecuba. Hecuba. Oh no, he summoned a spider. Oh. oh. Away from me, filthy peasants. <laughs> I love that the, the, the peasants, the town people just start beating him down. Is I don't know why, but really funny to me. Okay, we're going to be wandering around collecting apples. and Apples will be a good as a minor uh, healing implement. This guy is going to offer to sell us a bow. No doubt you're here for the honor. But I don't have any money. I'm going to have to go sell my modern day clothing. They actually sell for quite a lot of money for some reason. I mean, I guess it makes sense. If you saw a pair of, like, Jordans in the past, 
you might you might give up a bow. <laughs> then again, I feel like uh, a smart patron of of the olden days of of a, well, I say the olden days. This is a fantasy realm, but I mean they still they have to make their shoes like anyone else, right? They might look at a pair of, of Nikes and and say, I don't know, these look like they're gonna wear out. They're gonna get the, they're gonna get scuffed. We we walk in mud here, sir. These like these these things look like they're gonna look filthy in a matter of seconds. We've got some different potions. Uh, this this is the jailer. We don't need to talk to him. He's only gonna you know, oh jail, locked by some kind of mechanism. Uh, is this the, we the weird dude? The best ingredients for our wares, which come from the furthest corners of the land. Okay, sneakers. We'll sell. We'll sell the sneakers. Um, I think we can buy. I don't. I, I bought the poison bolt, poison bolt last time, but I would prefer to buy the bow just to see what happens because this guy seems so shady, and um, I forget what happens. No doubt you're sure. here for the. Bo has been added to your that inventory. Was made. He uh, he says, I'll sell, I'll sell a bow to you for 100 gold because I like your face. Um, sure. But, I mean, it just feels so shady. You probably can buy a bow for far cheaper. I haven't fully... Admittedly, I haven't fully explored the town. I mean, I probably did one time in my life, but... Magical well. Oh, yeah. Cool water from the well rejuvenates you. So we gotta help the um, the mayor. He needs some spiders taken care of. Oh, I don't, I don't go in here. here. Maybe I'll see you again. Maybe I'll see you again. A hail and hearty greeting, stranger. Have you heard of the savings archery contest? <laughs> it could be easy money. This guy will sell us a scroll, troll beast scroll. I'm good. Good for now. Sorry, I don't talk to underlings. Excuse me, I'm nobody's underling. I just saw a huge spider crawl toward the mayor's house. Hope he's all right. He's deathly afraid of spiders. Oh no. It's funny. There's a jailhouse, uh, and there are clearly laws, but no one seems to mind if you just like steal everything. I, I have accidentally fired some arrows, maybe? You have no quiver to equip. Okay. I don't know. We could try and uh, enter this contest. Good luck. All right. I actually don't think I did this ever. So this this will be novel. I'm today. This is easy. Congratulations oh, nice. To I got all 10. Champion Archer. Your prize is 50 gold pieces. Wow, 50. I mean, the, the bow costs 100, but I also gained uh, 500 gold uh, experience points. That's the real prize. It's not the. It's not about the money. It's about the the you know friends we made along the way. You know. So I don't know. Can we go and talk to the mayor? Boots when I was bathing. If you bring him back, mate, I'll teach you a damn fine spell. Yeah, this guy will give you a spell if you can find his boots. There, I, I haven't gone this way. I don't know how I can go this way. I, don't, I guess I can't go that way. The only way I went is uh, over here, southeast. And this is basically our, kind of our first dungeon. I st I'm sorry, but these like little elevators still blow my mind. I love the animations on them, and it's just like so kind of seamless to see like different I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's I don't know how to explain it without it just sounding like I'm blown away by something very trivial but I don't know moving from one floor to another really impressed me even as a kid um well I guess especially as a kid but like I loved the little animation that like physically moved you from one floor to another um and like I don't know if it's a loading screen or not or maybe it we we were already loading both of these things, both of these floors, but I don't know. It just it just felt so cool. It the the animation is so seamless. I don't know. I, I like it. Okay, quit bothering me about it. 
So I'm looking for someone's shoes. I don't know. They're down here somewhere, maybe. This is this uh, cave is filled to the brim with imps. We do have a map. Um, what is the map? Is it tab? Yeah, okay. I'm going to keep that open basically the whole time because I can. I mean, as I said, it would be nice if it grayed out areas that we'd already been, but uh, it doesn't. So I'm going to need this map because I am going to forget where I've been and everything does kind of blend together at a certain point. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Motorcycle. Appreciate you, bud. I'm sure you can hear that in the background. Not finding any shoes. He said urchin den, but is that... What? We're not fighting urchins, we're fighting imps, I thought. The map does not really point out secrets. Or maybe it does. Ow. This guy did two damage to me. For that, he deserves death. How dare you, imp. I don't know how to get in there. There's some really good stuff in there. Are they they're shooting? Wow, they're really doing some damage to me. Um, all right, we're gonna need to heal. Trying to, I'm trying to cast a spell, but it keeps switching on me. We're, we're out of arrows, so back to the staff. Come back here. Get back here. Don't you run from me. <laughs> if you run for me, I'll, I'll do something. I'll, I'll hit you. So I'm, I'm guessing there's maybe a secret around here to get to that room because it's looking it look this is the only place it could maybe be connected oh there's a our elevator i don't know if we want to use that just yet they make they make a such a good sound uh, urchin, cowardly rock lobbing denizens of the world beneath urchins are best experienced face to face. I think if we get enough of these kind of scrolls, um, that, that tells us about the, the scroll. Click to go to B scroll table of contents. Then maybe eventually we can take control of said urchin. And then, uh, like I say, eventually you can summon summon the creature in question. Might, I might just be totally wrong about that. Might be you just have to like find the book that teaches you the spell. We find another elevator over here. I'm gonna wonder which elevator we're supposed to take. Wish I could find some more bow uh, arrows. I should have uh, bought some in town. But, I mean, the good old staff is doing it for us. Works pretty well in a pinch. Okay, so there's only the one elevator. I have pretty much explored the whole zone. Oh, key. Perfect. That's what we want. I'm assuming that's what we want for this door over here. We get ourselves some nice shoes. Nice set of shoes. Bridge guard's shoes. Is it, uh, did it automatically equip those? It did not. Can we not equip those? Oh, those are the, those are the shoes that we need to return. Right. You don't actually have to click on the chest. You can just walk into them. Lots of gold. We could buy a bunch of spells. We just get a new um, staff. Sturdy staff. Is that the same as what we're... Flimsy staff. It's, it is slightly better. I have to assume it does maybe some more damage. So 
So I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward. And I think that there is a shortcut. Oh, is that a quiver? Oh yeah, we have 20 arrows now, nice. No, nope, this is not the direction. This is in fact the direction. So we should be past the bridge now. We can always go like walk back normally. Yeah, I'm not seeing, cause there's a path over there, but I'm not sure how to get there. So we're just gonna walk back. It won't be, it won't be too far. I could, I could always cut it out and post. All right. Got your shoes, fellow. Stun. Cast I'm your foes into a grateful, brief, powerless daze. Here's the spell, as promised. Nice. Two hundred experience points. I do have a red key. I'm wondering if maybe it opens this door over here. No, I guess not. That doesn't make sense. Can we get the? We can pick up the gold. Bizarre. All right. So now I will continue to do editing and uh, cut out me walking to the other side now. All right. Is there anything cool over here? Uh, there is a stump. The stumps have gold in them. So we can maybe find Aldwin over here. Sign reads, Gateway to the Temple of Ix. Door is locked. What's over here? Cemetery. Door is also locked. Those are future quests, maybe. Greetings. Aldwin. I am Master Conjurer Aldwin. And you are sent by the captain, eh? Well, there is indeed room for one more apprentice. But you must pay 30 in gold for your charm creature spell. Wow. Do you accept my offer? Sure. What, what happens if you say no? <laughs> I, I have to find out now. All right. Goodbye, stream uh, game. It's gone now. Greetings. No. I, I just, he just, Greetings. that's it. That's the end. I am very well. This book has a spell to charm creatures. The scroll is a field guide to spiders, which allows you to charm them. Claw them. Nice. Can we, can we check out this room? Is there some, just a bed and a cool new cape. Definitely going to wear that cape. Look at that. That looks like a really cool cape. All right, Spider Town we go. Sorry if you're arachnophobic. I am as well. But uh, these are good spiders. Does that help? I mean, technically all... I mean, listen, people tell you, eh, you know, spiders are good. They get rid of the bad stuff. I don't know. I've been bitten by spiders. Like, spiders can be just as nasty as whatever it is they're ridding your house of. So I'm not sure why I'm supposed to be given two solitary uh, cares, <laughs> to put it lightly, about uh, about <laughs> what they eat. All right, we're gonna stun these guys, and then our wow, what? That's I thought I stunned him. Escorting. I was trying to stun it so that my, my friends could kill. You don't have enough mana. They did manage to kill that lad. Secret. You get some extra experience for secrets, so it's, it is actually worth finding them. Not that it isn't worth finding secrets normally, but the extra incentive is there in this game. So if you can see in the top right corner, we have uh, a limitation to uh, how many things can... Uh, we can summon later. We we can tell them to hunt. Go ahead and hunt uh, Later when we get bigger things that we summon they will take up more space in this corner And I mean like right now these spiders are not great to, to put it lightly they, they are not great <laughs> But uh, we'll get better summons in the future do you know what you want, stranger? Stru or are you just killing time here? <laughs> Medieval shirt. Medieval shirt. We'll wear this. Maybe we can we can sell some stuff. Sell this. 
Sell this. Um, medieval pants. We'll wear the pants. I don't know if there's a if there's a benefit to like keeping stuff. Like our our modern day clothing. Is there is there a? Do you think there's a, a reason to keep that stuff? We'll we'll sell our pants as well. Now we're wearing no pants, but we have some pants. Um, how much gold do we have? A lot. We could buy vampirism. Or wasp beast scroll. We'll we'll buy it all. How about that? So we have the beast scroll for wasp. I don't know where it would be. Those are our spells. Okay. We gotta get our mana back so we can heal ourselves a bit. There's someone else was selling a uh, scroll and I'm not sure who it was. It could be, it could have been the bar and I think I do want to buy those scrolls. Uh, for, honestly, just for completionist sake, Sad. if anything. What's the good word? Oh, we want to learn these, by the way. Vampirism. Um, so we know vampirism. And let's see, what was the other one? Poison bolt. I'm actually not a fan of poison bolt. So we'll just leave it where it is, which where is where it will die. Oh, there, there is uh, the, our scrolls. Those small, the common wasp, wasp can de deliver a poisonous sting. Here, those are spiders on the map. Come to... Wish us well. Yeah, they are. Nice. Hello, uh, spider. <laughs> Fare you well. Off you go, spider. Thank goodness. A conjurer. Go on inside. The mayor is still hey, held up in his chambers. I was a conjurer before. Oh, whatever. Finally, a conjurer has come to my aid. Uh, let's get our... Spell ready. Oh. Just the one spider? Oh gosh. Too many other creatures. So we can um, banish. Banish. And we can we can grab this spider. And you can see that spider counts as two spiders. And actually, let's uh, go ahead and tell everyone to uh, escort me. The door is locked by some kind of mechanism. Does, does it want me to kill my spiders? That sounds... that sucks. Okay, whatever. Still no? I, I killed my spiders for nothing. Go on inside. The mayor is still held up in his chambers. Oh no. Soft locked? These cursed oh. arachnids are worse than the pox. My guard tried to kill them, but they keep coming back. My only hope is that you somehow charm the spiders and drive them out. The spiders are in my study. There, through the double doors. Please, be careful. M maybe, maybe that done it? I didn't know you could see this guy through the window there. Still nothing. Huh? You did it. Oh. They're gone. Oh my God. Really gone? I'll be right out. That was painful. <laughs> but all right, done it, done it. I don't know why I had to talk to that guy again. All right. That was a lot of running around. I actually went back to Aldwin again. Brave conjurer, my deepest thanks. You are worthy of your new title. The guards will be informed that you are now free to come and go from Ix as you please. Take this gold as payment for your service. I insist. Excellent. All right. Journal journal updated. We should be able to leave now, but um, I, I can't remember what even leveling up does. Can we? Do we have some stats that we can upgrade? No. I think it just automatically does it for you. That's fine. Maybe we learn some spells later. Oh. Wild beasts have invaded the mana mines, threatening many workers. One from our ranks must go, take charge, and tame these abominable creatures. It's a, quite a task to be given, like, some weird trailer park dude. All right. Well, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this first episode. I have an about the timing of this violence at the mana mines, lad. 
Brutal attacks against our miners by strange creatures, immediately halting production just when we got it up and running again. Our hour of need is nigh. Drive out the creatures, lad. Save the captured miners and get back here in one piece. A new quest. Chapter three. All right. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this series and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode despite me blundering around. And if you have, definitely consider hitting that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and more knocks. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching.